for me it's it's about counting your blessings yeah. really appreciating See, what you I'm, have i'm telling you mm -hmm. like sometimes you you'd feel like there have been times where you know conversations with other people they'll be like oh charlie i'm i'm actually working on this land or i'm working on this mm -hmm. you know something like that but like and i'll be like e, you what know am like I doing? what am i doing but you you're know, investing that kind in of your thing. education do you get it but you know so when you the amount of money you are you are paying for your fees bro it's it, it's building for someone exactly <laughs> that, that was that was the thing i was i was like welcome it's us again on your favorite podcast the fnf catchy dialogues See. so today let me ask you this do you believe in timing like that everybody has got their own time 100 percent. really when god was creating the world mm -hmm. yeah he created everything in days and in different times mm -hmm. okay and so it begs the question to not be surprised that things will work differently for others and work differently for i mean work differently for person a mm -hmm. and work differently for person b i think this podcast this particular episode is one of the most spontaneous conversations we are having personally and now we want to record yeah. it and it's stemming out of some recent experiences that we both had and you know we want to share that and it's about how even friends and even family tend to compare themselves with others and i'm going to give a very good example to support this there was a time where a friend of mine reached out to me to say that oh i've been in this country for x number of years and since i've been here i'm not really seeing any progress and all that but look at this my friend mm -hmm. this 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 and that and i was like okay let's just analyze the situation you are from a family of six you are the firstborn mm -hmm. okay your mom is no more uh, sorry your dad is no more mm -hmm. and your mom is there and you're the only one your mom is a single mom you know hustled for you and you also hustled for yourself mm -hmm. and eventually you've made it out of the country you're now working you, you you're working good and in your you know as part of your responsibilities in your mind you want to make life easier for your younger siblings your parents and all that let's talk about your friend that you're trying to compare yourself mm -hmm. to all of her family are outside the country mm -hmm. except her mm -hmm. now if she's here and she's earning her money it's hers it's hers and hers it? alone <laughs> what is she spending her money on nothing do you get it so herself you, mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. and and you're like oh you know this person i have other friends they've been organizing you know trips and all that charlie i'm not able to go i'm like see you are doing very well for yourself and in extension for your family mm -hmm. they are also living their life mm -hmm. whichever way but don't compare yourself why why doesn't he compare himself to um how do i call it elon max and go <laughs> you know they are i understand and i agree perfectly with you yeah. that these fingers are not the same and circumstances around our life is very different, different. the things that influence our decisions our spending our like the tough choices we make in life mm -hmm. are, are very different so i've got a very good friend as well we talk a lot about our goals, our aspirations. Sometimes she's got a business idea. She she discussed with me. She tells me, oh, I've been able to save. She's very honest with me. She's able to tell me, I've earned this amount of money within a year. And sometimes I, I'm like, oh, wow. Within that same year, I've not earned to, uh, up to half of what she's earned. Yeah. But I understand that our spendings are different. Yeah. And sometimes you have to Think about your health as well. I moved from A and E to research because of a number of reasons. Moving from A and E, I knew that my finances will decline. Yeah, I'm taking a pay cut. Yeah, and she moved from where she was on the board to a different setting, and she knew that her income was going to increase. Yeah. I don't have to feel bad that she's earning more or she's getting more, mm. and. We, we spoke and she told me about a friend as well who earned three times what 
I earned, I, I saved in a year. Th- this life, I'm earning more than, I'm able yeah. to save more than other people as well. So that is it. It's just that you have to better yourself each time. Yeah. You have you have people, we all look up to certain people. Absolutely. There are people that we want to become like. We read other people's book, other people's wisdom, right? But we don't compare ourselves to them. We get insight from them. We learn from people's lives, even as friends. Mm. Our earning capacity is very different. Completely. My wife earns more than me. Mm. So should I compare my, myself to my wife? No. Mm. You know, as friends, we don't envy each other. We are able to tell each other how, what we are doing, what investments we are making, yeah. what progress we are. There's, there are people um, in our friend friend zone yeah. who have just 10% of what we are earning now, mm. but they are so content and they are not envied because they know that their time will also come. Absolutely. Are, once you are not being lazy, you are putting in the effort, you are exploring other avenues, know that you are doing well. Yeah. You know. And, and for me, it's... It's about counting your blessings, yeah. really. Appreciating See, what you I'm, have. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. like sometimes you, you'd feel like there have been times where, you know, conversations with other people, they'll be like, oh, Charlie, I'm, I'm actually working on this land or I'm working on this, mm-hmm. you know, something like that. But like, and I'll be like, e, you what know, like, I what am I doing? But you know, that kind of thing. Education. Do you get it? But, you know, so when you the compare... The amount of money you are, you are paying for your fees. Bro, it's, it's, it's building for someone. E- exactly. <laughs> that, that was that was the thing I was saying. I was like, okay, fine. Sometimes I think you need to take a step back and analyze. Because like you rightly said, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this person is now buying, um, just bought a land, building, blah, blah, blah. Okay. If there's nearly 8,000 pounds that I'm paying to someone to mm-hmm. just spend, mm-hmm. assuming I decided not to go to school, mm-hmm. right? assuming I decided not to invest in myself, mm-hmm. I would also have that eight thousand yeah. pounds sitting in my account, and I probably would also start building projects yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. Same way, we all have different motivations in mm-hmm. life. We all have different aspirations, mm-hmm. different things we want to do with our money, and so on. So let us count our blessings, okay? Like, like this friend I was talking about. You are privileged to come you, to this country. You are here now, and you feel like you are not achieving as enough. Look at the number of friends we have. Who, who passed their IELTS and CBT and are still back home. And they could even the, the, the time has elapsed for them to make, make use of those results. All that money and that investment, gone, gone. wasted, mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. Wasted is a harsh word, but that's mm-hmm. that's the hard reality. Because you remember the time we were trying to get it. We're using our salary, like mm-hmm. hand to mouth. You get yeah. the salary, that's what you used to register, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And I'm pretty sure that is the same thing people have done. Mm. Like, you know, go, and then at the end of all this stress for over months, mm-hmm. and then you don't get anything. And you are fortunate to be here and you're like, oh, oh, bro, sometimes let us count our blessings. Let's be grateful for the little things that we've been we've been um, able to achieve, you know, the baby steps. Mm-hmm. And, and I feel like that that kind of changes the narrative when you see things and, from that. that um, you know, sometimes when you are unappreciative or you don't, you compare mm. too much, yeah. you don't appreciate also how the beginning of those people, there are, there are some people who, if they've not shared their story with you, 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 you envy them for nothing. There are people doing things that you can't do. You. you don't expect <laughs> to achieve the same result, right? Yeah. And there are opportunities open to some people that mm. you, you've not had those opportunities. Sometimes you, we are too hard on ourselves. Absolutely. And I don't think there's any set age to attain success. No. It's just unfortunate that in this age and time, uh, society puts unnecessary pressure. Like mm-hmm. those those things, nobody comes to you, but you feel it. Like you are, you are living in a community where all the young guys are building or all the young guys have bought cars and even your girlfriend (laughs) sees you like, (laughs) you know, you you know, so you, you feel that pressure and you you begin to, what am I doing? You, you feel less of yourself. You feel that you are, you are not doing enough. Enough. Yeah. Even myself, sometimes I feel that, Mm. no, I go to LinkedIn and I, I read people's profiles. I'm like, 
<laughs> what am I doing? Don't go to LinkedIn after. I'm what telling am I, you, like you know, your mind go bust. You know the things, but yeah, I I just check, and I'm like, I'm doing this, 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 that, and that. It's it's just I can't take up more. Like you know, you you put unnecessary pressure on yourself, yeah. and at the end of the day, the the ones you have, you won't be able to make good use of it. All right. Just when you mentioned about um, we traveling and all yeah. those things, there are people in Ghana that are actually ending. Like we me- we mentioned it of course. better. Of course, they're earning. Cool. They are earning not from salary, but the salary Ghana they have, t- the yeah. investment they put their salaries in. Yeah. Sometimes you don't explore opportunities around you when you set your eyes on things that you know yeah. are unpredictable. If you're fixated on one thing. Yeah. You, like you, if you're in Ghana now and you want to travel to the UK mm-hmm. as a nurse or US and that is your only goal, I bet you, you waste three years yeah. or two years which could have been put into something mm-hmm. like that salary you are getting. Mm-hmm. Just open your mind to a business idea. Start something and then when the opportunity comes for you to travel, if that is your biggest goal, mm-hmm. you can sell that business or you can you you can still make your money out of it. Mm-hmm. Who knows that that business you are starting in Ghana or that investment you are doing now would actually be better than you traveling overseas. Yeah. You know? So you don't limit yourself. You don't say and sometimes even the, the kind of people we compare ourselves to are people who also don't see themselves like they are you doing anything. It. You understand? You get it. No. Yeah. Just set higher standards, but take it one step at a time. Yeah. Appreciate what you have and make the best out of what you have. Absolutely. If you think that I have 10,000 pounds and it's nothing, someone is earning 50,000 pounds. There are people who have 10,000 10, pounds into $10 million mm. over a year yeah. or 10 million pounds over a year because they harness the power of that. Uh, ten thousand pounds. You understand, we'll like the the servants who were given the seeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one who had that one seed, had it been that he planted it, yeah, it would have become more. Absolutely. And who knows? Mm-hmm. Probably someone, who, uh, the master would have given him more. Mm-hmm. But you, we wait for. He waited for the one who had more to plant it and and get more. You know, so just. Make use of the little one. You can't become like everybody. No, no, definitely. The, the kind of person, the kind of person I want to become like, or the kind of money I want to get in this world. If I worry and I think about it, I can spend fifty years thinking about it, and I won't go anywhere because I know to. I won't achieve it. Absolutely. I, but I can do go gradually, hmm. explore other avenues, and then who knows? Maybe I might exceed it. If I don't exceed it too. I can't kill myself. Like people started it, and then there are people who started things, and we are the ones benefiting. They didn't enjoy. Kwame Nkrumah, get... Kwame Nkrumah did a lot for Ghana, and he he, he didn't get He's anything. Yeah. It's now the politicians now are enjoying you that know, the one who gained our independence for us. So definitely, Charlie, I think my, my last words will be that see, it's not a competition. Mm-hmm. That is one thing people should realize. Mm-hmm. Life is not a competition. No. Everybody has their time. Okay. Just recently, there was this um, this boy. You know Fabrizio Romano, the football transfer expert. Mm-hmm. There was this boy who was just kind of mimicking his style. And now Fabrizio Romano uses here we go. And the boy will be like, here we land. Now, in a space of a month, this boy has now gone viral. Mm-hmm. And he's now visiting Sky Sports and all that. Mm-hmm. Like, see, things can change just like this. Yeah. Do you get it? Like, just like a snap make of use finger of, overnight. Make use- do you get it? Of, of, of like appreciate yeah. what you have, appreciate what's around you, see the good mm-hmm. in what is your current situation, and make the best out of it. Someone has money, someone has talent. Do you your get talent it? can get you that money. You don't, yeah. you know, you, you everybody has got a potential, everybody has got something unique that mm-hmm. we can make use of. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, you have a skill, there are people who were born without any skill. Probably their only skill is to use their brain. You too have a skill. Use that skill to translate into money. Yeah. Messi has talent, but probably he grew up from most of these food. Cristiano Ronaldo, and when they are telling their stories, they grew up from very unprivileged backgrounds. Yeah. But 
they harnessed their skill. Had it been that he was thinking, probably I want to become a businessman. So I'm not going to waste my time on football. Probably we, he wouldn't have become the hero or they wouldn't have become the heroes we know today. Just make use of your current circumstance, your current surrounding. How can I translate it into something meaningful to benefit myself, to benefit generations and impact the world? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think this is just a personal conversation that we've just come here to record. And I feel like we've, we've said enough. Yeah. And people would probably benefit from this conversation mm-hmm. and begin to change their perception mm-hmm. on some of these things and take it slow and eventually you will get there yeah you will thanks guys yep. uh for staying with us put your thoughts in the comment section if you have any experience we want to learn from you as well and if you want to become one of our um guests yeah if Feel free. anywhere in the uk just hit us drop up. drop your contact or We've got our Instagram email, and yeah, other email our email on, on our profile. Just email us and then we'll we'll find you. We'll find you. We're coming to a city next yeah. to you. Watch <laughs> out. So yeah. Subscribe if if it's your first time. Like this video. Share. Tell someone about FNF Catch Dialogues. Let's grow this family. And until we meet in the next episode, it's peace.